Hey everyone, and welcome to my review and critique of the new, oh, what is it, the Skylight Studio for the Performing Arts. And this was released on The Sims 3 Store, um, this would be Thursday the 20th. And I'm going to start right off the bat and tell you I've been playing with this lot for a little bit, so that, you know, for this review. And I really, really like it. I'm just going to, out of the gate, I'm going to tell you I really like it. Um, but, you know, this is, this is a review and it's meant to give you sort of an idea of, of how it looks in general and, and whatnot. Now, the original image of it, whoop, tree, <laughs> the original image of it actually had it placed in sunlit tides, but I kind of felt like it would go really, really well in Aurora Skies, and I think that I'm right. If you take a look at, um, at the hospital and some of the other more modern structures. It's hard to actually see because my rendering for uh, lots that are far away isn't set to very high right now. But if you look over here, there are just, there are a lot of windows, a lot of glass elements, and what's what's really cool is that now these these you're going to be able to really complement that using these skylights. So like I said, I, right out of the gate, I'm going to tell you I like this venue. Now as to whether or not I feel that it's appropriately priced and all of that, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, right now I have a little bit of information about the set, but you're going to hear a crinkling. That's the paper I have written everything down on. Okay, so this set currently is 1,700 sim points on the Sims 3 store. And after the sale ends, which I forgot to check when that is, but it's usually about two weeks. After the sale ends, it's going to be retailing for 1,900 sim points. And the thing is, is that that's a typical price for a venue. And again, whether or not that's fair, not always. And I'm still not totally sure if I feel that it's completely fair for this, but it's obvious that a lot of work went into this. But like I said, we'll cover most of that later. Now, the premium content which comes with it. There are two pieces. Well, there are, there are technically three. One is the Stiff as a Board, Light as a Feather Dance Collection, which includes a dance bar and a mat that gives you additional dance interactions. And the, um, it's not, yes, and the It's Not Gross Public Shower Station, which basically is very similar to the outdoor shower you would have gotten with the Serenity Retreat. Um, or the gold or standard version of sunlit tides. It may not be with the standard version, but I think it might have been. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. So basically what it is, is it allows Sims, it allows you to put together a public shower where your Sims don't, you don't have to put up walls and things like that to maintain privacy so that your Sims will actually take a shower, which is kind of neat. Um, and then it also includes some other stuff. It's a, the entire, the entire set includes 19 items, although technically 20 if you count that dance mat, like I said, because it is a separate item. But what it has is two women's bottoms, two women's tops, outfit for female teens. So there's one outfit for female teens. And then there are two hairstyles for women. For men, there is a top and a bottom. Not much else, but you typically male sims are overlooked. And I would say a set like this. Now, I actually know about five male ballet professionals from my experience in theater and things like that. So I, I look at this kind of differently. Um, there's a lot involved in in being a male dancer as well. So, you know, it's it's actually, I feel like maybe, oh, I would have loved some, some half shoes or, or something if they, they were to come with this. That would have been kind of cool. But, the, you know, the, that wasn't there. And like maybe even a a dance belt, which would be sort of like a jock strap that's specifically designed for men who dance, uh, because it's very easy to pull your groin. Um, so it also comes with the venue itself, which is what you're looking at. And then there are, there's a, like a locker, which is a dresser. It works. It's not just decor. And then a weight bench, a, um, oh, I forgot to write this down, but also a new treadmill. A new hot tub, a wall lamp, wall art, which is basically just a poster, but it's, it's neat looking, and nine variants on this particular skylight. So that's what you're looking at. You're looking at all of those variants. <clears throat> Excuse me. The flavor text for the actual 
venue itself is, did you hear the joke about about the two swans that walk into a dance bar? No? That's okay. It's not very funny. But if you're looking for some real entertainment and creative expression, then check out the Skylight Studio for the performing arts. The lush, open skylights will let your sim star shine bright in the night sky. <clears throat> and there are, um, you know, there are a lot of cool things about this venue. But really quickly, I want to talk about the architecture itself. Now, it's it's very clean and it's it's reminiscent, I would say, of of like your your early '90s um, sort of clean modern setup even like 80s like if you think of the house in in ferris bueller like cameron's house and things like that this was a very typical um design aesthetic but it has some really rich modern elements like this this uh basically this wooden siding and the landscaping is is really sort of organic and relaxed looking and then um I'd say even wild. And then it's just, it's more angular. It's more interesting looking. And like I said, I feel it really, really goes well in Aurora Skies. It really does. Um, inside, it's got a lot of bright colors and things like that to add a pop. And I think that's, that's pretty interesting as well. I love these little mini period, periods, pyramids on top. Um, I just, I just really like this venue. I really like how it looks. And something interesting that you'll see out here, there's a sculpture here, obviously, which is, I think, really interesting looking, the way it's been recolored and all of that. I don't think, I think it's done with, like, move objects on. I don't think it's actually, like, it's not actually an item you get, but it is pretty cool looking. Um... And then here, what you have is this pyramid, which is reminiscent of the one that's in front of the Louvre. And actually, if you're not familiar with the Louvre pyramid, I actually wrote down a little bit about that as well. So, crinkling again. Okay, so basically, the pyramid at the Louvre was... Now, obviously, this is smaller in proportion, but yes, the pyramid at the Louvre was designed... Originally, the concept was to replace the entrance for um for like the main office structure of the louvre because the louvre is actually a palace it's it's a very large palace it's in paris and the the thing is gigantic and this there were problems with the original entrance so this was commissioned by the french president in 1984 and that was president uh francois mitterrand and then it was designed by, it was designed by I.M. Pei, who interestingly enough designed the Miho Museum in Japan, but also the IBM corporate building in Purchase, New York. And I'm actually, I live in New York, which is kind of interesting to me. Um, and I actually know a bunch of people who work at IBM. Um, and then, you know, it's, it's roughly the, the size of the original structure is roughly, it's about 20.6 meters or 70 feet high. And its base is 35 meters on each side, which is about 115 feet. So I think it's, I think it's a really cool sort of homage. And there are a number of, you hear crinkling again? Oh, okay, there we go. There are a number of places. I think there are like three or four other museums which have tried to replicate that look. But, um, you know, the original is in Paris in front of the Louvre and it's really outstandingly gorgeous. And this also has, Underneath, this has like a little atrium space, which I think is really a nice touch. So if you go down here, this is pretty much what you're looking at. But it's it's cool. It's really cool. Um, so let's have a look-see at everything. So have you seen, this is the outside of the building. This is the back. Um, oh, God. I just, okay, I'm going to gush about this. I can't help it. But if you, if you can see here, there's a... There's a half wall, which partitions everything off, which is pretty cool. And then this new hot tub. If you take a look at it, it's, it looks, oh God, it's like we're peeping toms. Creep, come on. No, I can't work my, my camera. Oop, oop, oop. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really special looking. It has, um, has like a, like a marble sort of finish and then the slatted wood. And it looks very, Hello, I apologize. I'm having trouble. It looks very deep and very rich, but in a simple way. I, I like it so much. Um, so there's that. And then we'll actually take a peek at the venue in general. In here you have a little stage area. 
that also has seating and things like that. I think this would be a great place for a wedding, actually. Um, I don't think it's not an actual performance stage, and I think it'd be kind of cool to put in an actual performance stage and use this later on as like a venue for the Showtime careers or something. And what I also love about this is that it has it has a ton of bathrooms actually, but what it has that's that's pretty special is. A lot of empty space, which I feel like you could utilize to put in other things that you want without sacrificing the overall aesthetic. I, I actually feel that this is a really well-made venue. Um, and here you have this really neat gradient wallpaper and just the way it's been colored is cool. There's a pool, obviously. These people are hanging out. I gotta tell you, I put this venue down and the townspeople have just flocked to it. Really. They're just, it's always full up of people, which is kind of cool. Okay, let's go up. Here you have another floor and an upper mezzanine seating area for obviously the performance space. In here you have a shower area and this I believe is the men's. It might be the women's. Let's put the walls up. Okay, men's and women's. So, is it, no, no, it's just men, I'm sorry, is it unisex, I was going to say? That'd be cool. Not that it matters, I mean, nobody's getting naked in here. But there are urinals, I believe. Are there? No, there aren't, that's why I couldn't tell, but, you know, whatever. So, yes, this is the shower, we'll see that in action in a little bit. And then, over here, you have the women's area, which also has this uh this shower and this the typical setup and i love the little drains that are with the shower it's a, it's a really nice detail i almost wonder um let's see um no i can't turn those on ah uh, crap i wanted to see what colors the walls are painted the whole blue for boys pink for girls thing you know makes me crazy but actually it looks like they're the same color which i really like as hard as it is to tell the difference it's still that's cool to me. And there are lockers in here, which are, you know, pretty nice. Those are the ones that came with it. And they almost, with the way they sit, if you, if you put the walls correctly, it feels like they're built-ins. Okay. Oh, here's the, here's the wall art. And I think this is another, whoop, I think this is another variant on it. Yes. So you have those couple different options. And then you have this Hello. Okay, come on. You have this wall lamp, which you now can't see because I put the walls down. Uh, we'll see it around. Okay, there we go. There are these wall lamps, and they basically, they'll sort of display everything on the way down, just the way that it cascades downwards, which I really like. Ah, uh, let's take a look upstairs. Here you have the new weight bench and the new treadmill. They're they're just much simpler, cleaner designs. See, I mean, honestly, I feel genuinely that these belong really well and they go really well in Aurora Skies. They create quite a cohesive look. But if you guys disagree with me, go ahead and, and tell me what you think because, you know, I, I definitely would like your opinions. Um, and then I have our family standing here. I'm going to show you the outfits in a little bit. And then you have, in here you have a couple dance bars, and you see these pops of color in with the, the lighter paint, which is pretty cool. And then there are more dance bars in here, and this is not that one mat. These are the, the mats that came with the premium content. And there's a little walkway through here which takes you into the gym, so you can't actually get to it through the main part of the hallway. And yeah, we'll see the, like I said, the dance bar in action. I think you can go up one more floor where there are some more dance bars and stereos and another dance mat which is pretty cool now from what I can tell I don't know if it's meant to be that way but you can really only have maybe one or two people on a mat at a time although I haven't tried to put more I should try to put a few oh god I didn't notice there's a little kid here I haven't seen a kid doing it yet that's so cute all right so let's actually take a look at the outfits. Now what you're seeing is the outfit for teens. This is what she's already wearing. And the the stirrup leggings come with it and it's it's essentially it, it's almost like a half shoe. I really wish they had half shoes and it wouldn't look like much. It, it obviously that's like a nitpicky detail, something that I would like to see. Probably no one else cuz I'm, you know, cuckoo bananas and and into weird stuff like that, but you know, it's okay. Um really that's that's about the best look you're going to get at it. Um I can actually have her mother move. 
Move, please. Thank you. Okay, thanks. All right, so you can get a good look at it. Um, you know, it's it's very similar to. I keep taking pictures. It's very similar to the one that you get from the 70s, 80s, and 90s set, but it's definitely it doesn't have that super high French cut um, uh, bottom. And this is the original coloring, and I I like the the layering in general. And I think there's another workout outfit that's similar, but I love that these leggings are not oversized. They're not sort of like. Uh, Hatsune Miku leggings or anything like that and they have that stirrup underneath even if the stirrup looks a little big like almost like it would interfere with your arch but you know that's that's pretty cool um what I can show you is I don't even think I need to go into create a style or anything like that but you know what you probably want to see it up close so let's do that um let's go with you can woohoo in here Oh man, that's awesome. That's so funny. Okay, we'll have to check that interaction. Let's have her plan an outfit. How's the little kid look? Cute. Oh, didn't need to see it. And of course, I, I usually do this where you won't actually see it loading. But my game's a lot faster since the update. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but it's a lot faster. Okay. So this is two separate pieces. So you have the, she's very muscular too, she's been working out. But you have the top and the bottom. The bottom I recolored, it actually gives you, oh sorry, I'm, it's gonna bring up the everyday outfit, which is different. You can set some of this, like you can set all of these, I think, as everyday, which is kinda cool. So if you have a sim that you're going for a whole dancer vibe, you can actually give them this look overall. And this is very similar to skirt, uh, skirt that you already get for kids. And there's a pair of pants that you can wear, like a bottom for teens that's similar with, with leggings, but it's not, uh, it's not similar enough for me. So, I, I wish the teens had it, but this is one outfit. You see how muscular she is now. This is one outfit. And the shoes are custom content, they don't come with it. But this is the hairstyle, one of the hairstyles, and the other one you saw came with the set, but I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so yeah, what you have is this dancer top. It's basically a ballet top, and usually, if you don't know, usually these wrap tops don't even actually untie. Uh, basically, you just put them on. It's a little difficult at first, but you put them on and, and it prevents the top from coming loose. And then she has a tank top underneath, which obviously you can see that color peeking through. I also recolored the pants because the pants uh, at the waist, they were a little too blue. And even though I'm not a matchy-matchy kind of person, I felt like it didn't look as good. There's also one with like a um, almost like a lotus flower pattern. So you can get sort of that... Uh, that Indian inspired yoga look. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Now, one gripe I kind of have with this particular uh, top is that it really, it just isn't form fitting enough. It kind of looks like it was made of a material that stretched out and it's it's not great. But I think it would actually look good on a heavier sim. I don't have my, my mods in right now, so I'll, it'd be difficult for me to go into um, create a sim. I could use the cheat thing, but that usually messes it up. If I go into create a sim through master control, it's usually better. Um, so we'll have to check that later. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's take a peek at her workout outfit, which is what you already sort of saw. But we'll get a closer look at the hair. I feel like the highlights are a little too disparate. Um, they, they just don't blend in very well. And from far away, parts of this upper bun are a little, a little incongruous, and and they almost disappear a little bit. So it looks a little weird. It, it becomes a little bit see through. But I I think that's just again a nitpicky thing on my part, and particularly when they have light behind them. Now, like I said, these pants have been. They're not even pants, they're, it's a skirt and leggings, but they have been recolored. The top has not. This is the color it comes in. But your different options for bottoms would be this one, this one here, this one here, and the plain ones, uh, like I showed you before. My biggest issue with the, the, le the patterned leggings, and you could always replace the pattern with something else. You really could. Um, it would still, oh, I lied. Hang on. It would still have, 
that that pattern underneath but if if you did it with the right one it wouldn't actually show up I, I don't know I just feel like these are actually kind of on the immature side but they are but I mean a lot of times when people go dancing it's it's or not go dancing but if they are in a dance class or something they might want to stand out a little bit so that's actually you know that's pretty fine with me um, and that's basically it for the women you've seen the two hairstyles so we're gonna leave create well not create some we're gonna leave the dressing room and we'll take a look okay yeah that was pretty fast all right so for men we don't even need to look at the teens because you saw what there is so for men we're going to go into plan outfit and they're just standing around and I don't know I might have them try for baby <laughs> It'd be interesting Okay, so this is the only two pieces you get for men and basically you have a pair of men's dance pants and you have a an athletic top. Now what's interesting about this top is that it actually does utilize something that you would see in a typical workout top, particularly with dancing because what these panels do is not only um, do they sort of direct sweat away from the body like this entire material would actually in real life wick sweat away but it's also offer some support around the lungs so it's more difficult like around the abdomen it's more difficult to strain yourself there and also through the trapezoids and all of that it does provide a little bit of additional reinforcement and then down here on the elbows if you're doing some sort of um, floor work basically that's going to protect you from hurting yourself and the forearms actually but not the elbows but it's all like reinforced to actually be pragmatic which I, I think is a nice touch um, neither of these has been recolored actually these are two colors that are available and I'll show you the second color that comes with the pants now the thing about the pants um, obviously you have some zippers which would be for keeping um, like if you had a debit card you wouldn't want to do that with dancing though but if you had cash or a key or something that you wanted to keep in there which again you, you would want to be careful but you know that's that's for real life but the the feet down here Obviously, the, the hem is going to be fitted to the leg in order to prevent you from tripping. Slash pockets provide a little additional movement, and they're on the loose side. And then there's good room through the inseam to provide for comfort while you're dancing. And then you can tie the waist, and it's not too bulky of a waist. And I think the pattern is just to add visual interest. Now, the other... Let's go with the other um, bottom color that you can do is actually this it's a it's like a denim which I don't think looks as good but you could do like a lot of times these pants will come in really fun bright colors and what's cool is that the pocket is actually a different channel and individually colorable which I think is pretty neat um, basically that's it for the clothing in general so let's close this out God, those creative style and creative sim songs are so loud. Fortunately, I record my audio separately. Okay, so really quickly, let's have the daughter head in here so that it's not creepy. And she's going to, actually, we're going to have her warm up. And then why don't you try for Babby with your boy. Now you're actually going to be seeing more of this sim here, John, because I'm going to be doing a McKinema with him, which I think should be kind of fun. Okay, so they're macking. Go on. Smoochy smoochy. And then I have autonomy off, so the daughter won't stop actually dancing. Okay, she learned the plie move and can now show it off to others. Did she do that just warming up? Yeah, she did. Um, you can learn new moves, particularly the ballet ones, and we'll talk about that in a second, but I want to see this. This person's like, I would like to use this. Get going, guys. And it looks like your typical wardrobe woohoo, I think. Oh, wow, he just disappeared into the ether. More like the nether, I would guess. Like some sort of portal. Okay, yeah, again, it looks like your typical, your typical McKinema. Okay, no baby, but that's all right. Get out of your, oh yeah, I know. It's like, yeah, we just totally did it. 
Okay, so he's in his workout wear. Um, I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna have him ballet dance here, and then I'll show you the actual exercise interaction. It's not much different. Okay, she learned the échappé. Échappé. This is like brings back all of my ballet days. It's actually kind of funny. Okay, so let's take an up close look at what everybody's doing. As you can see, I've actually leveled up their skills. Oh, come on. I don't care about that. I've already leveled up their skills. Okay. Yeah, so this is what it looks like when you ballet dance on the floor. Now, each of them, um, John and Danica, they only have their ballet skill, or the, their dance skill, to level 5. And I believe, or no, to level 6. And I believe the errands is to level 5. And again, like I said, they can move, they can learn additional moves that they can show off to people, which we will actually, hang on, can you, we need to know these people. Okay, so let's have, let's have our lovely girl stop. Oh, he's just randomly doing... What dance interaction is that? Mascot dance. Oh, okay, yeah, he's doing the Gangnam style. All right, so why don't you... Um, why don't you friendly... How do we do this? Um, hang on. How do we do this? Now, the goal is to be able to show off... They can't slow dance. I don't know why a father can't slow dance with his daughter. It's not creepy. It's like, in general, it's just kind of, I mean, what if it were her wedding or something? Okay, I can't find the interaction to show off, but yes. Uh, let's see if she can do it. Um, let's go with friendly. Enthuse about exercise. More. I wonder if they'll just randomly do it, but I don't know. It's not showing up, which kind of sucks. But, okay, so you can see he's doing the mascot dance, and then she can show you. You can dance, club dance, ballet dance, chicken dance. I'm not familiar with that one. That's the only one that's, like, pretty different. Oh, there we go. She's clucking like a chicken. She can join in the mascot dance. And then we'll have her... If you choose dance with partner, what that does is it actually, yeah, it's a, yeah, one of the more annoying things. Let's change the music, though. Change to electronica. And stop that. Is there a self-interaction? No, unfortunately not. Now, I wanted to join. Okay, join there. You can do it. Okay, well, she's club dancing. And here's here's where we talk about the dancing skill. Who's got... Who's got classical music playing on another radio? I don't know. Okay, so... The... Here, let's do this. They're gonna dance together. Go on. Now you can kind of see their skill increase, but not really until after they stop. Which is, you know, which is a little sucky, but it's not too bad, because you can see it going up a little bit. Hang on, we need to find who has the stereo blasting classical music. Because that's fine, but right now we are aiming for something a little different. Is it in the hallway? Go down, please. I know there's a stereo somewhere else. There's gotta be. Okay, I guess what we'll do is we'll disable the wall speakers. Um, this room. Okay, there we go. Okay, they're done. They're like, I'm fine. Okay, so the dance skill doesn't have any skill journal interactions, but what it does is it tells you, like, your basic dancing skill, your club dance skill, your childhood ballet ability, and then how much time you spent using the dance bar, and then also has a tally of the other dances. Now, I'm not exactly sure. Um, as your athletic skill increases, obviously it affects your dancing. I'm not sure what else your dancing affects, like if it uh, if it affects any of the Showtime careers, 
or if it um, is synergistic at all with other traits or other skills or if there is a trait which would increase your prowess in dancing. I really don't know, but I would I would guess that athletic is one of them or maybe like natural born performer or something. I'm not really sure. But what's pretty cool is that now dancing is actually a separate skill and you can go up to level 10 and you can do like your ballet dancing and things like that, like I said, and, and that's really neat because usually premium content items don't involve another skill. They don't enhance your gameplay in as many ways. Although the multi-tab 6000, if you have 600 sim points, I encourage you wholeheartedly get yourself the multi-tab 6000, but that's another story. Um, so yeah, let's take a really quick peek at the women's showers over here. Let's take a really quick peek at the shower and you'll be able to see how mother and daughter can actually shower in the same room without it coming across as creep uh, creepy to either of them. Why don't you do this muscle dance? And we'll take a look at the shower interaction. What are you staring at? Go ahead. There we go. Okay, ladies. Yep, so they're in their swimwear. And they're showering, which is going to be handy. And if you put this, like, if you have a homeless challenge or something, that's also going to be handy. Okay. So, that being said, at the end of the day, how do I feel about this lot? Now, you know, I already told you that I really like this lot. I really, really do. And 1900 is the standard price for venues that you pick up in the Sims 3 store. But is, are, is that a fair price? I don't really know on this one. It's, it's always a little much. 19, I mean, right now it's 1700. So if you want to pick it up, go ahead and get it now. If you can, obviously. But, the, the 1900 sim points, I mean, $19 is a lot. $19 is a stuff pack. And this is the, the sticking point that many reviewers run into every single time. Is, the equivalent price of a stuff pack is that viable in terms of of it being a reasonable amount to pay now a stuff pack <coughs> excuse me a stuff pack typically includes a lot of items along a theme and it may not always be something that you're interested in and obviously that's how it is with this but stuff packs usually involve like a huge degree of specificity like i said and it's along a theme but truthfully, they also enhance your gameplay in a lot of ways. Each stuff pack usually includes something that will enhance your gameplay somehow. Do I feel that 17 and the $19 is a fair price? I can't even say fair. Obviously, a lot of work went into this venue. Obviously, a good amount of work went into these items and programming the new or premium content and I really like that right now there aren't any oh wow he's catching some air right there there aren't any glitches or anything like that I love that there aren't any glitches but it's still a lot of money it's just still a lot of money so I would say use your discretion do I think it's a reasonable price no do I think it's a fair price I can't really say. And again, we're splitting hairs. We're getting into semantics. I like this lot. I'm happy that I got it. But if you don't think you'll use this stuff, and if you don't think it will enhance your gameplay, I really feel like you should give it a pass. And that's how it is with everything. One last thing, though. I do feel like this set doesn't include the same degree of specificity as a number of other venues. Because the venues that come with worlds in the gold versions and things like that those usually don't include as much specificity but there's typically more of a theme along the ones that you buy individually but this has a lot to offer this has a lot of space and you can make alterations and you can put a professional bar in here and you can put in like an arcade if you really wanted to and all of those things so I can't tell you for sure whether or not I think it's a reasonable price. Like I said, I don't think it is, but I am genuinely happy that I bought this set. And that's all I can really say on the matter. <sighs> so, that being said, thank you very, very much for watching. I'm like having camera weirdness right now. Thank you 
genuinely so much for watching. I hope this has helped in even a small way. And I will see you in my next LP. Thank you so much. Bye.